Hello everyone, my name is Lena and welcome to the next episode of Let's Play Tell Me Why. So I'm sorry I didn't release much films recently, but I've been kind of caught up in my work and then I got sick and my throat is still a bit scratchy, so I hope the quality of sound will not be that bad. But as usual, if you want to see the previous videos, if you maybe well clicked on that video in five years from Man. now, then maybe you want to I can't watch believe Brian lied. If not, you can I just mean, continue with this. I may one. not be the guy's biggest fan, but he's always talking about the truth and the law and shit. Do you have to be so happy about it? What? I know you've been waiting for something like this. Something that proves Eddie's an asshole. But gloating about it is really not cool. Oh, it's Tina. I gotta take this. Yeah, j just a sec. I'm parking the car. Guess I'll just go stretch my legs then. Okay, take this no. one. Just give me a sec. You could have just called her back when you finished parking, but that's just my opinion. Okay, Tina, what's going on? Hi, hon. I've got someone who is super interested in seeing the house. Oh, that's amazing. Uh, when? They're just in yeah, the area for a come couple on. of Don't days, so they'd like to come by day after tomorrow. Oh, uh, I'm not sure it'll be ready. Hun, this guy is very motivated, but I know he's looking at other properties. And it's not like you've had people breaking down the door. I appreciate that, but we've kind of got a lot going on over here. <sighs> Did I mention it would be an all-cash offer? It's, it's not the right time. A cash offer, Allison. I'm sorry, but it'll be a total mess. I don't want to waste anyone's time. Okay, well, you tell me when you're ready. That sounds good, but come on, no, we need huh. more time. Well, let's just sort our things, things first, list. and then we can sell the house, right? Okay, let's keep moving. Uh, I guess we will not be able to explore much, right? They don't want us to go back as usual in the games, you know? When you play some kind of Super Mario, you only can go right on, never left, right? And is there anything interesting here? Any collectibles? No, does not look like it. What about here? No, not much. Okay, where should we go now? Where's Tyler? Come on, Tyler, where are you? Uh, come on, we can't even cross some grass. It's a grass. It's like in Pokemon Go or something. No, not regular Pokemon. You know, when you see uh, some kind of bush and there's like, no, this path is blocked. You cannot go over it. Come on, bullshit. Okay, what's in here? Caution, bear encounters are frequent. Okay, do not feed the bears, keep all the foods properly stowed and contained, stay alert. Make boys while hiking, bears don't like surprise. Never hike alone, or escape pepper spray when hiking. Do not run, stand your ground. Okay, in case of violent attack, fight back. Well, I hope we will not be encountering any bears right now. That won't be the safest thing to do. And now I'm actually thinking what would happen if we told Tina that yeah, yeah, let's show them the house. Would it kind of change the game, like change the flow or something. Okay, let's take a look at the board. Dee and I did that trail a couple years ago. We drank Sounds ice cold dreamy. beers when we reached the summit. I'm not a big fan of beer, but cold drink after a long hike, yes. What are you looking I mean, to win there was here, the caution board the because they had better encounters, so maybe they want to vote to do. Come on, you never know. Anything else here? No, only two posters to command on, so let's move on. Oh, there's Tyler. Sitting on a rock. Oh, a sculpture of a cat. A lynx, maybe. The artist really nailed this one. Dorian Key. Kind of rings a bell. Pretty. Okay. It does look Looks nice. like you found a nice spot. We've been oh here before, so right? Oh my god, it's Well, you live in this town, I feel like town, I've been so. here before. So 
So, Tina? Tina West, our realtor. Oh, that Tina. What'd she need? She had someone who wanted to see the house, but he could only come by day after tomorrow. And you told her no? Yeah. We need more time than that you know, to get things cleaned up and, you know. Thanks. But what if it's the only call we get? And I guess we just grow old and lose well, our minds in that fucking house. <laughs> I wouldn't mind living there. Sounds like a plan. So, before Tina called, we were talking? Yeah. I'm not happy your foster father fucked up. Oh, yeah? Because you sure sounded like he it. He hid information about Marianne. Because you are kids, I know. come on. You just don't have to rub it in. I get it. You're always going to side with him over me. Come on, that's not fair. Then why do you keep doing it? This town, these people, they're just memories to you. But it's my home, Tyler. My friends, my family. And as much as I want answers, I'd rather not lay waste to my entire life to get them. I didn't come here to ruin your life, Allison. I just want some answers. I know. We all the answers. That's why we're doing all this, up, right? Not like that. We don't have to be an asshole about it. Okay, let's maybe change the topic a bit. Or I don't know. I'm hesitating. I'm gonna ask that you gonna sulk all day, but maybe just talk about the view. It's pretty, right? Our hometown looks pretty picturesque from here, doesn't it? You're way more attached to this place than you let on. Come on, Tyler, don't be an ass. It's pretty crazy. To I have would pay cash for a house here. cash for a house out here, huh? Yeah. Well, well I don't have a ton of money, money, but wants to buy a house in Delos Crossing. Now we'll never know. We'll get another buyer. Mm. Who wanna buy a house there? It's lovely. I mean, yeah, it's Alaska, it's cold and everything, but still, it's awesome. Especially if you like hikes and you want to be alone, you know, away from the people, from the city noise and everything like that. You feeling that, Ty? Yeah. No, memory. Okay, now you're the star and I'm the compass. Okay, and don't cheat. Oh, Tyler. I know you were sending me fake hints last time. I did not. Yes, you did. Okay, okay, I won't do it again. Cheater, come on. That's not how you play. Because you're always there, probably. You were always accusing me I of cheating. I told you. Because you totally did. It was a cool game. Guessing where you were just by feeling play now? what you felt. No one else could play it with us. That was the beauty of it. For real? You never wanted any other friends? No, not really. Well, you I were mean, eight we or had each other. Like that, so. that was enough for me. So, not too disappointed I turned down our chance to be billionaires? Hmm. Nah, all that money would have made me soft. And I've spent way too many years polishing my edgy side. You were right Thank to call you, me out I earlier. Appreciate that, I was being a jerk about Eddie. I'm all for enjoying the wins as they come. But maybe not at the expense of my father figure. Yeah, I I'll see that we didn't choose the first option here. I don't like arguments. So I have to warn you. I'm not sure we're getting any answers out of Eddie. You won't have a choice. We're not 10 years old anymore. Uh, well, he is all protected, right? He tries to protect me from everything. <sighs> Occupational hazard. He was always so worried about how I was left out at school, so he'd make me throw these huge birthday parties and invite everyone. And they'd all have oh. to show up because you were the chief's daughter? Embarrassing and Bingo. Awkward, right? But then they didn't actually talk to me, so I felt like a stranger in my own house. I know the feeling. Okay. Eva, oh my god, it's pretty. Let's take a look here. I can't believe the old cannery is still in business. Plenty more fish in the sea. Oh, Friend. that's that's the same. Oh, there's something. I can't believe the old cannery is still in business. That's full. Plenty more fish in the sea. Look at that. Coastal fog's taken over the summit. Mm -hmm. It's a 
perfect day for a spooky hike in the woods. And there's one more. Maybe it'd be a good way to chill out after we grill Eddie. People come here from thousands of miles away to look at that glacier. And we get to see it from our deck. Hey, yeah, actually, it could be a great Airbnb, you know? Oh, that would be awesome. And maybe if Sam was not drunk, then maybe he could take over, take care over that, but I'm not sure if you can trust him. What's that? Remember that time both the bridges collapsed? Yeah, it was a week before they got the roads reopened. And Sam had to bring us supplies with his boat. Felt like our house was on a deserted island. But way colder. Oh, and the statue. That's one of a dog, right? God, I'd love to be able to make something like this. Come on, you're a great artist too. I'm nowhere near this level. You need to stop well, selling stuff short. Well, it's a pretty doggo, but is that an art, you know? I like to think that art serves a purpose, like shows you some deeper meaning. And well, sculptures are usually very pretty and well done, but most of them does not have this kind of hidden level of meaning. So it could relate to so. Not a big fan of sculptures. I'm right here, you don't need to shout. Hey! Look what I found! What did you find? A tree? Like one of many trees, right? Aha! I knew it was still here. I knew we'd been here before. We claimed it as part of the Ronin Kingdom. And it still is. You came All it needs is you? a little update. Oh, that was the gift, right? No, gift of life, okay. No questions then. Updating what the are you initial. Doing? What I wanted to do back then, but I didn't have the guts. There, looking better already. You're right. Way better. I'm always wondering how do trans people choose their new name? Is there like some kind of epiphany? Is there like a name that they feel related to? Like they feel this is the true name? Or do you like search options? You know, like the people who uh, choose a name for the baby. They just look for all the list of names and then choose the ones that sounds good. I wonder how they do that. So, what's the plan? We go inside and calmly ask Eddie why he was there that day. All right. And then Let's try to let lies. him get his side of the story out. Okay. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. I understand, Mr. Barrow. I'll be sure to let him know. Yes, I have it all written down. Have a good day, Mr. Barrow. Morning, Missy. How do you get stuck working reception? Rose called in sick this morning. I'm covering for her while I try to get my paperwork done. What are you doing here? Just checking in with Uncle Eddie. I'm guessing from the identical features that this is Tyler? Tyler, yeah, is Tyler. Denise, Denise, Tyler. Wilson. Nice meeting you. Could you tell Officer Vincenzi that I'll be. Oh. Good morning, Allison. Hi, Uncle. Morning. I'm going to take Dr. Torres' statement. No need for Vincenzi to come back to the station. He doesn't seem like he's in the best of moods. Yeah, he's I don't at know work. what's going on, but he's been a little off all day. Good luck. So now you're Tyler. Great. He has an excuse to brush us off. I'm sure he'll make time if we say it's important. Well, let's see. Oh, hello, kids. Hello, middle-aged adult. Everything all right? Your uncle said you two were going to be knee-deep in trash for a few days. A few days? That's optimistic. It feels like every time we clear out a drawer, two more just appear out of thin air. Ah, huh. yes. You got my sympathies. When we emptied Linda's parents' house, oof. I thought we'd have to rent a backhoe. How is Linda? I feel like I haven't seen her in months. Good. Yeah, she started working over at the high school as the librarian. Pay's not great, but she gets to see the kids every day, so... I bet Brendan's thrilled. Oh, yeah. Happy as any teenager who's got to spend extra time with his mom. Well, I'll let you work. 
Eh, no worries. You're not a bother. Well, they definitely look like there's much work to do over there, so yeah. You said your daughter was with you during the incident? Yes, she was. I'll need her information. Can you give me her name and date of birth? So you can just like walk around like that and there's five missing people here? Uh probably eaten by bears, right? Yes, the fathers. Just some amateurs. Hikers with no experience. Missing, missing. Well, we don't really have any other information, and I guess it's pointless trying to remembering the names of those, so let's move on. Um, maybe I should, you know, follow Allison for the time being? Morning, Chief let's Brown. Good morning, Tyler. Hey, could we talk to you in private? It's a little urgent. Can you excuse me for a second, Dr. Torres? <sighs> What's going on, you two? We had a few more questions about our mother. And we're gonna talk about it, like, Look, right here. now's not the best time. Well, <coughs> maybe we can come back later, then? Excuse me. Come on. Guys, I'm understaffed today. I've got a receptionist out sick, an officer dealing with personal issues. I need to finish taking this woman's statement, and I don't have time to chat right now. We were just hoping for some answers. Well, I don't know what more you think I'm going to say. I already told you everything. I need to get back to this complaint. Sorry, guys. Yeah, sure. Go back to work that you have <coughs> none of, almost. Just talking to one person. Doesn't look very busy to oh, me, I but... when he's stubborn like that. So what now? Of course, Mrs. Torres. Um, Where were we? we get the truth ourselves. Well, he's obviously not going to give us the truth. So I say we go get it ourselves. Where do you think they'd stash her file? I don't know. The archive room? Probably. The Eddie's office? Wait, you're not seriously thinking of breaking and entering a police archive? Why not? Go big or go home. Incident report states you called yesterday at six. If he's so busy, has no time to talk to us, then he won't be really, uh, you know, he won't have time to check out what's going on in the archives. But you couldn't stay to give a statement? Like right now, we're just. Literally snooping around. Hey, what are you two up to over there? Everything all right? Uh, yeah, everything's fine. We're okay. just, uh, I was just telling Tyler where the upstairs bathroom is. Tyler, help me out here. Oh, uh, yeah. Toilet emergency, lake water, you know, Mother Nature's juice cleanse. There's a bathroom just past the break room. Behind you. First door on your right. Forget it, Tyler. There's no way we're getting upstairs out in the open. Okay, so we'll have it's to use a better plan. There must be another way up. Should we just look around? Yeah, okay. Act normal. Oh, yeah, we are acting very normal, just. There's no access to around. the first floor this way. We need to find another way up. But I could go to the toilet just to pretend I'm actually taking a leak, right? Make it more, I don't know, real like? Less suspicious? Yeah, I'm just gonna just check every door that's there. Sure. Makes sense. Vandalized your mailbox. Officer Vincenzi was dispatched to your home at 6:29 a.m. Okay. No, I can't even go to the restroom, right? There's nothing I can do here. So it should be um, outside. Yeah. Regroup and think. Um, need a smoke because we're gonna go get back here. I'm yeah, sure. I need a smoke. You should think about quitting. It only gets harder the longer you do it. That's yeah, true. I know. While you're at it, get your sister to stop too. You can't control your sister. I mean, if she wants to smoke, she will smoke. It's everybody's personal decision. Sure, it's a really bad habit, unhealthy, costly, and everything, but you can't make someone stop. That's at least what I believe in. Okay, bingo, we've got some stairs. There. <laughs> Are they open? Fires. Come on. It opens up to a staircase on the side of the building, but it'll definitely be locked from the inside. If one of us were to create a diversion, the other could slip upstairs and open the door. And since you're the troublemaker, I nominate you as the one to make a scene. Oh, Wait. come on, really? really? Not a better idea? Well... 
aren't cops, like, trained to notice suspicious behavior? I'm not exactly an amazing actor. Figure out something simple and commit. I have faith in you. Okay, we use the P excuse. So what now? Diarrhea? But the bathroom is downstairs. What's that the warehouse for? Shooting range? Uh... What's that sound? Oh. <laughs> Stay out of trouble. Is that supposed to be Greg's? Oh, yeah. Well, no one knows for sure, but the resemblance is uncanny. Hmm. Who's the artist? Gold case. Us? Oh, is that the... Yeah. Bear warning, right. Which one's Brown's car? Why? Well, we could... Okay, slash his tires, maybe. You can tell a lot about someone by the car they drive. Ah, the love language of car people. Maybe we should slash his tires? The staircase should be on the other side of the building. What kind of diversion do we have to create? Fire exit's not that way. Yeah, I know, but I'm just looking for some idea how to distract him. Should we like set something on fire? Bike? Uh, who's cooking up the bike to work in sub zero weather? That would be Vincenzi. He's got a bike for every season. Names him too. Uh, well, good for him. Duncan. It's really healthy, I guess, you know, to bike a lot. So should we go slashing tires? Oh. I was thinking of letting a little air out of his tires. You know, in case we need to make a break for it. Haha. Ha. Okay, that's too dramatic and Okay, I guess we have to like go inside and talk to him actually, you know, like ask him some stupid question. I don't know. I'm um, out of options right here. So Those in the trash cans are like the opposite of bear proof. You know, it's actually really unhealthy for animals to eat our trash. Simmer down. We don't have time for a ranger rant. And I've got the wildlife channel too, you know. <laughs> okay, so what do we do? What do we do? What do we do right now? I've been everywhere. Come on. So, what do we do? Should we like talk to him directly? I mean, Alison is standing like next to the doors. To, I'm sorry, to the stairs. So. Make some noise. That pile of paperwork? What about it? I could tip it over. Kind of messy, but I mean, <laughs> sure. Okay, let's see. I'm, I'm sure there's something else to do as well. It's gonna be like two, three, maybe you know, points, and we can decide which one we want to use as diversion. And still, it's not suspicious that Allison is just like standing right over there. Switch. I guess I probably can't trip the circuit breaker, but I could turn the lights off. Just go. Improvise. Ah, oh, I should go with that one. Okay, let's see what's the third one, because I believe there's gonna be a third one. That's the missing table posters. Plant! How about saying someone's climbing the fence? Really? I can pretend they're outside, trying to break in. Uh, Alright. It doesn't sound very good, no. Okay, the light or the paperwork, because... These two were the least stupid. Fire drill. Oh, file alarm, that could be cool. But yeah, if we try to, you know, set the fire alarm and then Alison will not evacuate because she will be on the first floor, it's gonna be also suspicious, so no. I 
I guess I'm gonna go with the files, maybe. Yeah, there's the fire alarm, right? Not the best idea. <coughs> Anything at the reception? She doesn't look like she's working over all the paperwork she has. Come on. Okay, light or files? Files, I guess. Jesus, Tyler, what happened? Sorry, I wasn't looking where I was going. Just leave that there. Yeah, it didn't really trip it over right now really great way but I guess that was enough so he looked at our direction Allison so okay All let's right. leave I'm in position what now turn right when you exit the station and follow the side of the building okay the staircase will be right there I, we know we've been there already Halfway there, come on. Quick, get in. Oh god, what did I just do? But you took control of your destiny. Own it. You open the door. Okay, so what do we do now? Where's the archive room? I have Looks to like this is where Brown quiet. keeps all his personal mail. If Eddie catches us in here. There's no turning back now. You applied to a summer drama program back in 2009? I did, but they rejected me. And you still have it here? To go together. He went, but I was stuck here for the summer with no one but Justin Beaver for company. Why? Well, uh, this letter says you got in. What the hell? So he just turned it down? I'm sorry, Allison. Shouldn't what? be surprised he's lied to me in the past. Why oh, is Brown on a first name oh, basis with the director of Firewave? Oh. What'd you find? It's an invoice. Eddie Brown, he'll find it and close the final invoice for resident Tyler Ronan. The Firewave administration would like to thank you for all of the support you've given us over the years. I knew Eddie pulled some strings to send you there, but <laughs> that's a lot of money. More backdoors and secret moves. Maybe he didn't want to make you uncomfortable. Well, now I feel like I'm in his debt. Well, that's kind of weird. Like he paid for his stay, like lots Looks of money. Looks like he's there. working with the office and of child like services. This line is a plain sight. Yeah, but I mean, those documents like very relevant for the <sighs> twins, and they're just lying there. Brown really plain wants side. everyone Come to on. know what a fine, upstanding citizen he is, doesn't he? He's a genuinely good person. And saying that here makes me feel even worse. But he lied to you. Huh. Hey, Collectible, you. yay. Though Dragon. we are destined to burn, we emerge as stardust. Is that? Oh no. <laughs> oh yes. Burn it. Burn it with fire. Hmm. <laughs> okay, you look at that. You can oh, tell us, police force Come is getting on. a new I'm officer. Sure can hear you. Finally, this guy has a record, and not a Holy. short one. Why is he even in the running? Shh. Eddie has a really hard time hiring people out here. I don't think he Robbery. has a choice. Robbery. Okay. There's always a choice. Avoid persecution. Drugs. Sure. Possession use of drugs. He'd make a great cop. He might work. Really. Sandwich artist. Okay, he was in military, but but then the drugs. Oh, maybe it's a good thing for him. You know, after war, he might have got some PTSD. He used some drugs. He did some, you know, bad moves in his life. But seriously, 
You're gonna try to hack into his computer? We're here for people. information. And computers are basically information pinatas. Huh. Tom invited Eddie over for dinner? Oh, yeah. Uh, he's been trying way too hard to get Eddie's endorsement. Does he? Support Tom? He prefers oh, staying hmm. neutral. Whoa. Brown looked at our file this morning. Wait, what? And who else is running for mean? them? First I don't, I don't know. Whatever. But there's a reference number. R68653. Okay, wrong case. Bias training, blah blah blah. You hit play all, Sherlock. Man, who pissed in his cereal this morning? Can we, yeah, scroll? Yep. Ah, I don't feel like reading it all. Don't leave there's dishes in the sink. Okay, learn to clean themselves, blah, blah, blah. One of his emails mentioned the archives. That's gotta be where our file is. Aw, look at you. Allison Ronan, perfect daughter. Can go. Can we stay focused, please? Okay, so let's go to the archives, right? There's not much things to check on here, right? The police chief oh, of wait, Delos Crossing more. hosts charity events? Huh? Oh, yeah. The community still Why not? He volunteered to help. Because he pretty much knows everyone, and more importantly, he's called the cops on who. He's in charge of the seating chart. And why are you just chatting like that? I'm sure he can hear you. Please tell me you know what the code is. Okay, I'm the confidential police the archive. Then how am I supposed to open the door? I spent hours playing next to this room. One, four, six People in any combination, the right? The keypad does this little tune. Dum da dee do. <laughs> Seriously? Go on, try. Hmm. Definitely one zero four six. I don't think that's the right order. Okay, one more time. Dumb daddy do right. Dumb, yeah. No, that's gonna be the last one. Okay. Six zero four one. Is that okay? One more time, Allison. Is there like a memory I can't reach? Allison, come on, help me here. That reference number is a good place to start. One more time. What What's was at the that? archives? How did that tune go again? Dum da dee do. Yes, please. Okay. Six. Um. F one. No. How did that tune go again? Six, four. No. Okay. Six, zero, four, one, right? How did that tune go again? One more time. Zero, four, okay, yes. and one. We got it. And what was the reference number? Oh, I already forgot. It had six in it and eight, I guess. Uh, looks like they're finally going digital. Oh, that's right. I remember Eddie complaining about this. They're gonna have to resort everything. Great. They've digitized their closed files, but only the ones before 1990. Meaning? Meaning our file is still somewhere Perfect. in those boxes. Perfect. A room of scattered case files and a half-done sorting system. Yep. This is gonna be so fun for you. I'm gonna go keep a lookout. Seriously. What? Why do I have to be the one stuck with box duty? 
Because if anyone sees me, I'll have a better excuse for being there. Reach out if you need anything. R6. Okay, I need them six, six and eight. Look it up. Look it up, she says. Okay. That's gonna be played. A lot of looking, right? Nope. Let's skip this one and we'll get back when I get the, the right box, right? Shall we? Here we go. And finally, after checking all the boxes. Looks like a step by step record of the investigation. Okay, notified by partner officer Christian Holt, accident, Canary Road, white female identified as Marianne Ronan, falling over deck into a lake, audio recorded tape, uh, arrive at the scene, witnesses, Ron, minors names redacted, children of any Marianne couldn't get a statement from them as they were under dire stress and shock, the children, blah blah blah, role prints of victim, photographs, scene crime, bullets recovered from location barn. Okay. Well, so far I'm not seeing anything we didn't know already. It does reference some other files and audio recordings though. You might be able to look those up on the computer. Even if our file hasn't been digitized yet, they may already have it in the appendix. Ron's hair was cut short by his sister, threatened with a gun, fled from her, she was a child to the dogs. Ron stopped with a scold. Converses claimed by him. Mm -hmm. Homicide. Perfect. Okay, so that's also things that we know. Nothing new here. So I'm guessing we'll have to go to the other cases that are listed there, like audio recordings and all this shit. Here we go. You can search by keywords. What should I look for? I don't know. Mary Ann Ronan, March 1st, 2009. Oh, just the tags we need over there. Crime report, autopsy report. Homicide report, information, crime summary. And storage 05R61889. Oh my god. Storage 05R6. And we have only chose two tags out of four, so I'm guessing it's gonna be even more to choose from later on. Okay, so what should we check first? References 05R61889. I think I've seen it somewhere. Okay, no, no. That's only two that we have here. Okay, yeah. Our I need to check one. out. 05R61889 Was that like the one next to it? No, 63, oh, there. is that one? Oh, that was close. Narrative, involved persons. Occupation employed, Marianne, Caucasian, blah blah blah, date and time, a dog on the lake, the victim threatened her child with a gun, child stabbed her while pair of scissors, victim subsequently fell into a lake. Mm -hmm -hmm. Minus name, redacted, come on. item 1, quantity 1, article shotgun, owner of the gun, Sam. Mm -hmm. And just this, the model of the gun. I'm not sure if that's very helpful everything. right now. Wow, this is a real detective novel. Brown's quite the wordsmith. He's not a writer, Tyler. Okay, so shortly after her child, Ron, 11 years old, entered the garage. She's playing a new haircut given by sister. According to witnesses, Ron's statement when she saw the child's haircut, Marion became enraged and threatened. Ron with shotgun. They fled the garage towards the lake, calling for help. Marianne followed, still armed, out into the dock at the southern side of the property. And well, that's what we know as well. So there's nothing new. 
Uh, hearing the noise, witnesses came out towards the dog, observed, thrown under the thread, Marianne defend themselves by stabbing mother with a pair of scissors. At that time, both witnesses stayed at lost consciousness and fell into the lake. Detailing the incident, blah blah. The end of the crime scene was located entirely outdoors. Negus observed a loaded shotgun the dog. No runs have been discharged. The decks were directed to witness, okay. Said that, the, that she heard screaming while she was upstairs in the bedroom, she ran down the stairs. Marianne threatened her child with a gun to run away, I'm going to kill you. Marianne with a pair of scissors trying to escape. Yep, okay, still everything that we know already. But there is one more file, I think. There's some audio. Do we have more tags now? Yes. Recording for and children. Mm. Court order, okay. Zero five or okay, that was the next to the uh, to the files that we already checked. Jealous Crossing Police Department. Yeah. Hello? Hello? Uh, hello? I can hear you. It, it's my mom. She she fell in the water and she's not coming up. Okay, where are you now? Home. We're home. Are you alone? Where's your dad? It's just me and my sister. All right, honey, can you give me your address? 12 Cannery Road. Please, hurry. Just stay right where you are, okay? We're sending someone out to help you. Don't hang up! And they hung up. Okay, that's, that's the ones that we saw already. Autosy report. That's new. R62. And R63. Okay. So I have two more Here. to check right now. Bingo. Oh. That's I haven't seen before. Fax receipt. Zero five zero one. C O N. Hmm. Okay. References. Let's go back to files. Zero five zero one. C O M E B R. Are these the zero fives over there? No. Oh, zero nine. I'm guessing they're kind of stored in this uh, chronological order, like 05 being 2005, right? So it should be next next to each other. Mm, I don't see it. It had like COM, right? 05 something something zero, COM. Not this one either. Not this uh, one. Where's the damn box? Are you finding anything? Zero five zero one C O M E B R. Where is it? Oh, what a mess. No, it's not the one. That's not it. That's not it. Oh. Nope. Well, give me some time. Zero five zero one C O M E B R. There's gonna be here, right? I mean, there won't be this part of the game if their file was not here. Zero five, no, no. Zero five, yes, that's this one. Okay, here it is. Right next to 2014 and 2009. Perfect. What the hell? Brown reported Marianne Child Services. What do you mean? Oh. I'm looking at a fax receipt with Brown's name on it. Sent to the Office of Child Services with the subject Ronan family. What? There has to be more to this. Just, just keep looking. Shit. Okay, what Shit. did he report? He's coming out of the stairs. What do I do? What do I do? Stole him. Stole him. No shit, Sherlock. Get him to the office, yes. Tell him you need to talk in his office. Get 
Can I leave now? Not. And I'm stuck in here, right? Perfect. What do I need? Okay, so I should still keep on looking over on the computer, okay. Child service, yes, and Marianne or Hospital discharge. Release form. Okay. Um, I need to check out 05 R68 MISC. Is that the one? R668? But there's no MISC. Oh my god, I'm getting stressed and nervous here. And the numbers, they are not helping, you know, of the mess. 0805 or 60 something. 13, 06, 2014. Is that the one? No, no, the next to you. Or maybe. Um. No. There's not many boxes, man. I'm getting lost in them. I, mean, I feel like I'm looking at all the same time at the not same this one ones. Either. Uh, where's the damn box? Well, zero five R sixty eight MISC. So, Alison, what are you doing? Are you in the office with him, stalling Eddie or not? I already forgot the number. Yeah. No, we checked this one, right? Come on, Tyler, help me find it because I suck at this part. Is that the one? Nope. R62, nope. Give me more time. 13, 06, 08, no, no, no. Not this one either. Okay, there's gotta be one of those, right? 24, no, 2008, nope. 2014, no, 13, nope. nope. Well, okay, there's gotta be one of the sites here. Is that this one? 05? Here we go. see. Okay. Oh, but the number was not visible. Huh. Why is that here? Concussion. Head loss, concussion, nausea days, patient. Test Saveki? Your release, okay. So is it about Tyler or about uh, Allison? So Tessa took them out of the hospital, right? So should we go back to the computer again? It's taking so much time here. Recording, no. Tessa. Tessa and child service maybe? Got something. Or sure. okay. Child neglect report. Oh. Two oh five. Two thousand five two zero one five four six. Two thousand five. Where is two thousand five? I've seen two thousand five so many times. At this point, 2014, 14, 8, nope, it's gonna be on the other shelf. Nope, nope, there's 2005, is that the one? This one either. Ah, the one here? There. Wait, what the hell? There's a huge amount of child neglect. Snell theft, tracking number, blah blah blah, shoplifting, assisted persons. Okay. 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 Okay
okay, so that's just for the theft. She did not pay her back, I guess. Marian and the Renivet, he owned by Thomas and Tessa, observe. Uh, chatting strictly with her, said that she is behind the cash register and did not have a direct art contact. Mm -hmm. Okay, so she stole something, but what about the child neglect? Ron asked Vecchi if she had any organic mosquito answers in stock. Vecchi informed Ron that she did not, but still stated that she believed this demand was all due to winter season. Uh, five minutes she walked back through the aisle where Ron had been and discovered a missing box of detergent. She very, very recently restocked the shelves and no one has opened the store that morning. Suspect Ron shopped in before in the past. Lovely one, the company. Okay, Vecchi said that also the reason suspect Ron to be guilty of child neglect. They don't eat and are exposed to all kinds of inappropriate influences. What do you mean, all kinds of inappropriate influences? What is that? Some form of abuse may appear in the house. Hmm. Well, okay, shoplifting is one thing, but child abuse, that's, that's something different. Okay, can we go now or should we search the computer once again? Okay, we got more incident. And that's some? No. Um, what's the new one? Okay, verbal and physical threat. Okay, I need to check out 2005 Is that the one? Tell me this is the one, please. Okay, here it is. Yes. I hate the part of playing on the boxes. Okay. <clears throat> so, what have we got here? Uh, verbal physical threats. Devil's Crossing. Marianne arrived at Joan Miller's home to cut her hair. The two women had settled on a date and time early that week. The appointment was arranged for 3 p.m. and Miller stated that it's the only thing they agreed on that day. She had not agreed on any sort of payment. Uh, so Ron arrived Miller's house 25 minutes late, looked really tight and anxious. She was maybe on something. Oh, maybe she was actually taking drugs and only drinking a lot. To be paid twenty dollars in cash for her work, that she only ten and a five dollar bill and is granted a sufficient payment. Exploded in a fit of rage and insulted me with insults. Requested the Lord to remove herself from Miller's house. Situation escalated and Ronald made physical threats to Miller, telling her that if she did not pay her for her work, she would take the payment from Miller by taking something from her home. So she reported no items missing. And then she threw Ron out of her home, locked the doors, and proceeded to call the police. When patrol came out, Miller's Miller's picket fence had been vandalized, apparently having been driven through a vehicle. Okay, the fence had been intact and simply lovely. Is there anything else you want to search here? No, we can leave, finally, okay. I'm sorry, Tyler, I couldn't stop him. He's coming your way. Get out. Uncle, I... We didn't mean I'm to... I'm not gonna repeat myself. You're a goddamn hypocrite. I said move it! Hey! Get off me! You'd rather spend the night here? Come on! I said don't fucking touch me! Go on! Tyler, Consider yourselves lucky your family. Okay, let's be calm about it. You're right. Family. And for Allison's sake, we should talk. About what? We saw our file. We know about social services. Why? Why did you turn your back on her? Why did Tessa? Because she was a bad mother, that's why. She neglected you. She was abusing some, okay. some I know, substances. Yeah, you're right. We need to talk. Yes, finally. So open all this conversation, I hope. The Give winter the before truth. your mother's death was hard. Devil's Crossing was snowed in for months. Most roads were closed and Plane supplies were scarce.
Everyone was struggling. Especially Marianne. Yeah. She was always just scraping by. And that winter left nothing to scrape up. Even if locals had found time to help her. You know, I'm, I'm not sure your mother would have accepted. Um, so Tessa. You're saying Tessa reported her mother because she was having supply issues? Tessa came to me because she was honestly concerned. <laughs> right. I was legally required to report Tessa's complaint, even if I didn't agree. So you called the child services. So you took her word for it and called child services. Failure to provide adequate food, lack of appropriate supervision, inattention to a child's psychological care. Like it or not, she had a case. What? It's bullshit. We Tyler, saw those calm down. complaints against Marianne, Tyler. It wasn't just Tessa's word. Is that why you came over that day, before she died? You felt shitty, didn't you? That's why you broke procedure? I had to warn her that it was happening and that it wasn't looking good. An assessment worker had been assigned and started doing background checks. What else was I supposed to do? I thought always telling each other the truth was our number one rule. Still is, little moose. And yet you still lied. Because you are I 10 years old. I didn't want you two putting yourselves through unnecessary hurt. But you're adults and that was your choice to make. Uh, I'm truly sorry. Thank you, Uncle. Mm, just like that, huh? I don't want to go with just like that, bullshit huh? and being aggressive. Must be nice to have a daughter who lets you off the hook that easy. Eddie, on, you keep trying to point your finger at Tessa, but... You have to take responsibility for your part in our mother's death. I've asked myself over and over for the past ten years what I could have done different. I know I made a big mistake with you two here. And you've got every right to be angry. Being a father, well, it's a pretty tough job. I've tried my best. And I'd like to try my best with you too, Tyler, if you want it. Hmm, we get out of time? No, it's not that easy. Let's try to reconcile, maybe. I know it's hard for Tyler to say those words, but Alison would be really happy. Um, we, yeah, this one, I guess. We could get in there with Tamiya. Yeah. I'm open to getting there. But it's gonna take some time before we're a big, happy family. I respect that. It's hard work rebuilding trust. But you've got a place here whenever you need it. Oh, you got your ring on your finger. That's nice. Rupa? Let's just bury the hatchet and everything. Uh, no. Absolutely. That's too much, Eddie. So can you go down fire escape here? Or should we leave by the front door? Okay, front door it is. Ah, I guess Eddie is not that bad. I mean, he was doing his job reporting the case that has been brought to his attention, so... Chin up. Yeah. Chin up, stand tall. a girl. <sighs> I could use a beer. It's noon. 
Which means that by the time I drink one, it'll be afternoon. I can't be expected hmm. to enjoy my pulled pork sandwich without a cold one. Are we still on for lunch tomorrow? Yeah, sure. I'll text you. Okay, I guess now we can leave the police station, regroup, and just think about what we can do in the next episodes, right? Allison. We found out what? some shit details. Let's see how we feel make, like shit. what we can make out. How of can them. you tell? Because I feel you like shit. You don't feel like shit. What are we gonna do about Tessa? Nothing. Look, we're not gonna do anything. That's enough, Tyler. Talk to Tessa? Why? What are you looking for? What are you expecting her to say? I thought she loved us. Really? Chief Brown, is it true? Is she? Is it a memory? Oh my god. Ch children, I... Tessa. Tessa, you need to leave. Come on, kids. Everything is going to be all right, okay? You're going to be okay, I promise. Go home. You can't be here right now. Oh, God. That's so sad. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, uh, I think that's enough for today. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video. Take care, bye bye.